Today I'm going to work on the MealMaker JavaScript project from Code Academy. In app.js, create an empty menu object, const menu equals, and empty curly brackets. Number two, we're going to create a meal property with a value of empty string that will eventually hold the name of the meal. Meal equals empty string. Number three, we're going to add a price property with a value of zero. Price, and let's set it to zero. Number four, we know that properties that begin with underscore should not be directly manipulated. To test it out, below menu object, directly manipulate the two properties by assigning meal a number and price a string value. Then console.log menu. Menu.meal equals nine. Menu.price equals chicken. And let's console log menu. To safely reassign the two menu properties, we can add setters that type check the values being assigned. So we're going to either delete that or comment that out. And below the properties, use the set keyword to create a meal setter method with meal to check as a parameter. Let's add our set here, set meal, and let's use meal to check as a parameter. Number six. Inside the body of setter method, we're going to create an if statement to check if meal to check is a string. And if it is, we want to return meal to check. If type of meal to check equals string, return meal equals meal to check. Save. For task number seven, we're going to utilize the same procedure as above and use the set keyword to create price setter with price check as a parameter. And we want to make sure the value associated with price is always a number. Set price, price to check. If type of price to check equals number, return price equals price to check. Let's save. Number eight, below the menu object, we're going to set values of meal and price using the newly created setter methods. So we're going to do the same thing as previously, but this time we're going to assign meal to chicken and price to nine. Console log menu and save. Number nine, below the setters, use the get keyword to create a today special method. Get today special, this will be empty for now. And that's it for number nine. Number 10, in the body of the getter, create an if else statement to check if meal and price values exist. If so, return a string telling potential website visitors that today's special is, for example, today's special is spaghetti for $5. If meal and price values do not exist, return the string meal or price was not set correctly. If this meal and this price are true, we're going to return today's meal is this meal for this price. Else, return meal or price was not set correctly. And finally, number 11, let's console.log, menu today's special. Today's meal is chicken for $9. And we're all done with the MealMaker project.